name is Abby Lambert and I'm currently a student at CGA. Um, we are part of Adventures and Missions. It's a discipleship school where they will equip me to be a better leader and serve God better. I want my supporters to know that by giving to me, you're joining with me and by joining with me, we're working on the kingdom together. And not one person can do this on their own. It takes a community, it takes a family, it takes supporters to achieve anything. Um, and that's the heart of God. Community is the heart of God. So I wanna build community. I just, and, and when you donate, you're a part of that. You're a part of every single person I touch. You're a part of that. The one thing I would do would be to move to France and open up a and b and employ local people and minister to them and then minister to the people who come through. So like your couple on the honeymoon who just got married or the old couple who's been going to this part of France for years or the backpackers who are trying to find their way and like minister to them and then minister to the people who are working in my b and b show them that like a workplace can be a family and that community is how you build it. God is super funny sometimes. We like to say sneaky Jesus here at CGA a lot. So Jesus was very sneaky and got me to say yes to something bigger, which was squad leading, which is where you go back on the field. And then he took that big yes and was like, okay, now let's funnel it down and give you the tools what I've told you to say yes to. And so when he put squad leading on my heart, I didn't know it, but he also put CGA on my heart. Um, and now I'm here learning the skills to lead better, to listen better, to love better, to walk and look like Christ. If you look at Jesus' ministry, when he started out, he instantly got community. He went out and he sought that first. He didn't go perform a bunch of miracles first. No, he sought community and he sought out people to be with him as he traveled and did his mission work. People need community to lean on each other, to see the heart of God. We are all so different, but God made us all in his image, so how can we get a picture of God's image if we only focus on one person? You have to keep all of that in mind when you think about God, because God is on all of us. We are all in his image, and a community helps bring a bigger picture of that.